this when I stab her? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! Welcome back to kindergarten, everyone, and you know what that means. Welcome back to my sacrifice circle, where we actually gained all six souls of my kindergarten classmates in the last episode, which means we're only missing a few remaining souls. And today, we are going to get revenge on my kindergarten teacher herself, Miss Applegate. So to do that, I'm pretty sure we have to do Bugs's mission. And I think that means that we need to take the lunch pass to school today. And then also money, of course, because what would be Bugs' mission without him beating us up, right? It wouldn't be a kindergarten episode without getting bullied in some sense or just doing something messed up on our own. So we're gonna bring the lunch pass to school. We're gonna get some money. Let's go ahead and dive on in to another day of kindergarten. Hmm, I smell money. Yeah, someone is definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. Hey, kid, you carrying any cash? Yes, Bugs. Excellent. Give me a half or I'll split your empty skull in my foot. Fine, here. Five whole bucks, buddy, every time. Good boy. Now don't go telling teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Great, thanks. Miss Applegate! Miss Applegate! I'm Miss Applegate. I have been well endowed with excellent teaching qualities. Bugs stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Uh, no way, Miss Applegate. The stickers didn't do anything last time I helped you. I must say, I am not a fan of my darling students telling me no. I sure hope nothing bad happens to you or the rest of the bad children. That would be just... Dreadful. The bad children? Bugs and Nugget, and now you! You all must be really good friends. Uh, sure we are. Anyway, run along. Just know that I'll be watching... Closely. Right. Okay, Miss Apple, great, great, awesome, amazing. Thanks for threatening me. Um, since you said I was good friends with Nugget, does that mean we have to talk to Nugget? Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. What happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy, but Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. Do you know where he is? I need to know more about this Billy situation. Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows? Your question upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Gold. Much better. What were we talking about? Uh, Billy? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. We were just talking about him, Nugget. We were not. The principal has forbidden me from speaking about it, and if you press me any further, I'll report you to him. Nugget, I need to know. No, you don't. Enjoy your trip to the principal's office. Whatever, Nugget. Oh, great. Here we go. The principal just called me. He wants to see you in his office. What did you and this little weirdo do? Uh, that's a good question. Well, get going then. The principal is an impatient man. Fine. So, I've been told that you're feeling sad about Billy. Who told you that? Oh, you know, we're just, uh, gets around, you know? It doesn't matter how I know, it's that I do know. Uh, I'm not sad about Billy. You're not? Then why are you so interested in his disappearance? Were you listening to my conversation with Nugget? What? No, 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 no. You shouldn't accuse authority figures of eavesdropping. I know what I know, because I'm the principal. Got it? All right, sorry. It's becoming increasingly clear to me that Billy's disappearance has greatly affected you. I want you to take these. They've helped Nugget immensely. <laughs> Bro, you're giving me pills? Don't think of them as drugs. Think of them as portable therapy to help you cope with your feelings. Uh, okay, thanks. Take one. Right now. <laughs> I feel like if I don't take one, we all know what's gonna happen. So we're gonna take one. <laughs> uh, there you go. Isn't that better? How do you feel now? <laughs> I feel good. Excellent. I also want you to hold on to this for me. It's a little gadget, but don't worry about what it does. I can do that, homie. Good. Now go on back to class and try not to think about Billy too much. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Whatever, man. Great. I'm heavily drugged. Welcome back. I hope turned out okay with the principal. More than okay, big teacher tits. Oh, I know that tone of voice. The principal gave you some of those special pills, didn't he? <laughs> you wouldn't mind if I had one, would you? <laughs> Go right ahead, whatever you want, Miss Teacher Tits. Good boy. Go. Oh, that's nice. Thank 
Thank you for that. Go on and enjoy the rest of your morning time. I know I will. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Psst. Kid. Hey. Kid. What? I heard about what teacher was trying to do to me. Old Applegate has had it out for me for a while now. It's nice to know that someone is willing to stand up to her. No problem. Yeah, it actually is a problem. She's probably setting up something to get you in trouble as we speak. That's how I got my first two strikes. If she gets me again, I'll be expelled. Hey, Bugs, what's the problem? Would that really be so bad? Considering the last kid to be expelled, was that missing kid Billy? Yeah. It would be bad to be expelled. All right, I'll keep that in mind. We should work together to get her before she gets up. I'm in. Sounds radical, dude. Smart move. Take this. If she tries anything funny with you, don't be afraid to use it. <laughs> Bro, is that a knife? That's not very peace, love, or prosperity of you. Yeah, it's a knife. Look, something awful is happening at this school. Everyone knows it, but no one wants to talk about it. I'm not about to go down without a fight. Ah, oh, man, you're just paranoid. Maybe I am. But it's better to be paranoid and alive than careless and missing. All right, all right, all right. Good point, man. Good point. We need to find a way to get to the old gal alone. I don't want any witnesses tattling. Hey, man, I have a lunch pass. Well, look at you, little Miss Teacher's pet. That's going to make this a whole lot easier. So after morning time is over, you're going to have a very special lunch with Teacher. And just kill her? Pretty much. Just wait until her back is turned and strike. I'll be waiting outside. Well, the bully wants us to commit murder now. Cool, man! <laughs> oh, what is my life? Tell me, will she even turn her back? Hmm, good point. We're gonna need a distraction of some sort during your special lunch. See if you can buy something from Monty to do the job. So we have one of these devices. We have Bugs' knife. My feeling is that we're also gonna need Nugget on our side, and when we were friends with Nuggets on the previous days, he gave us a Nugget, so I'm gonna try to steal this Nugget from Nugget's Nugget Hole. <laughs> Groovy, man. Hey! Don't go snooping around it. You know what? I don't really care. Do what you want. All right, well, our teacher definitely drugged up. All right, we're gonna take this to be Nugget's friend, hopefully. That way he doesn't, I don't know, throw me in his hole later and everything go wrong. I don't know. This is Nugget's cubby. There appears to be a nugget of some sort in here. I'm gonna take the nugget and then I'm pretty sure we have to check with Monty to see if he can help us with our gadget that the principal gave us. What? You wanna be in my morning, buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. Yo, man, got anything to cause a distraction? Sorry, don't have anything like that at the moment, but I'll tell you what, I'm pretty handy with gadgets. If you can find me some sort of device, I can rig it to do what you need it to do. Hey, man, you mean like this thing? Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It'll cost you 150 to get this done. You good with that? You know it, man. Okay then, just a solder here. We'll wire that timer to pass through the capacitor, set the receiver to the correct frequency, more techno blade to make me seem smart. And it's done. What's it do, my guy? Here's the remote. All you have to do is press that button and this little doodad you gave me will pop like a firecracker. Cool. Thanks. It's only good for one use though. So be careful with it. Got you, my guy. Tell Bugs you got a distraction device. All right, Bugsy Boo. Bugsy Boo, my homie. These pills are great. You want one, my guy? Well, did you get something to cause a distraction? You know it, Bugsy Boo. Go ahead and stick it under one of the front tables. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> sure thing, my buddy. Sure thing. I'm not going to do it in front of Lillian's room, just in case they say something. I'll do it in front of my own seat. Should I place Monty's distraction device under this table I'm asking myself in front of the whole class? <laughs> just imagine my little kindergartner just drugged out of his mind. It's fine. Don't do drugs, kids. This is all just fun and games. Okay. All right, so we placed the device. We have Nugget's Nugget. I don't even know if that'll help us, but hopefully he'll go easy on us. Um, we have medicine. We have a knife to kill our teacher later. Everything's great. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having salad today. How exciting. Yo, 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 Miss Teacher Tits. I want to have lunch with you today. You gave me this pass, remember? Oh, fiddlesticks. There goes my smoke break. Very well. You can have special lunch with me today. Excellent. The rest of you run along to the cafeteria. Planner updated. Kill the teacher. Oh, gosh. I got to do it for my sacrifice circle. Having special lunch with my favorite students instead of getting a smoke break is one of my favorite things about teaching. I love it so much. Here's a McGlob Silly Meal. Knock yourself out. A whole McGlob Silly Meal? Okay, that low-key baller, Miss Applegate. Probably the best thing you could do in this game because you've been 
pretty much a bitch the rest of the time, let's be honest. Go on, have a bite. It's delicious and possibly nutritious. Gonna activate the distraction just in case you poison my McHappy McLob meal. Oh. Oh, my, my, my. What in the dickens was that? Did it come from in here? Is this when I stab her? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Her, her, I stabbed her in the ass. And her ass blood is just so... Okay. You little bastard. I'm gonna... Oh, dear. You. Oh, no. God. Her ass is still just spurting. Catch up. Yeah. Catch up. I heard her scream. So it's done, right? Wow. I can't believe you actually did it. Take the knife out of her. It's got her fingerprints all over it. She's probably got a phone on her too. I think I'll take that. That's the bell. Let's get out of here. Risa's about to start and I don't want anyone to notice we were missing a lunch. Come see me at recess and I'll help you hide that knife. Oh my gosh, I showed up to recess with blood all over me still. Of course. Bugs, buddy, you gotta help me. You can't leave me covered in blood, my guy. It's clear someone noticed that the teacher is missing. Otherwise that old lunatic wouldn't be watching us. Talking about the janitor. We need to hide that knife before we go back inside. Where do we hide it, man? I'm still good. Just vibing with all this red stuff on me. <laughs> uh... The only place I'm seeing is that whole nugget dug. Only problem is that nugget can be territorial and we're not exactly friends maybe you could convince him to bury it for us i'll try my guy yo nugget what's up homie behold the nugget cave it is very deep and very dark what secrets does it hold do you want to find out yo nugget can i hide something in that hole you wish to make a contribution to the nugget cave what do you wish to contribute just a knife you know no big deal oh my this knife has known bad things nugget can tell Nugget does not want it in the Nugget Cave. But we're friends, homie. Remember, Nugget? You don't remember you giving me this special nugget? You have a nugget of friendship? Very well. You may add the knife of evil to the Nugget Cave. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Now be gone. Nugget has matters to attend to to do with this unhealthy addition to the cave. Well, did you get rid of it? It's gone, my guy. No need to worry. Hot damn. I can't believe we're about to get away with it. Just chill for the rest of recess and everything will work out. <laughs> My guy, what about our phone? Don't you worry about that. Just keep your eyes open. Be ready when the time is right. Okay, dude. Whatever you say. All right, you rotten kids. That's the bell. Get your worthless hides back inside. Oh my god. She's still just there? Well, at least her ass isn't spouting anymore. Children, I have some bad news. If you look to your right, you will see your formerly unstabbed teacher. Formerly unstabbed? Meaning what? You That you know that the knife or the weapon isn't there? <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! Is there a murderer on the loose? It's probably the creepy janitor. We've already cleared the janitor. He was in the cafeteria selling biscuit balls when her death occurred. She had it coming to her. Bugs, shut the f*** up. How are, homie. Homie. What are you gonna do about it, Dad? First Billy, now this. We're not safe at this school. This is totally gonna tank my sales for the rest of the week. Enough. Nugget likes the way teacher smells now. <laughs> Shut up, weirdo. <laughs> funny. It's fucked up, but it's funny. Shut up, weirdo. Take one of your pills or something. Anyway, I need to search all of you to make sure you aren't carrying anything that could have been used to kill your teacher. Let's we'll start with you, the one covered in blood. Empty your pockets. Oh. What's up, guys? I didn't realize it was that noticeable. <laughs> Just vibing. <laughs> uh. Doesn't look like you have anything on you. Okay, let's go ahead and search Bugs next. Okay, good thing. Bugs gave me the phone. Hmm, doesn't look like you have anything incriminating on you either. Damn, now I owe the lunch lady 20 bucks. Okay, well it looks like no one here is responsible for killing the teacher. Alright, you searched two dudes, and then, you know what, fine, fine, fine. Not like, okay, fine. That being said, I'm sending you all home because, well, your teacher's dead. Walking out with the blood. <laughs> well, we did it. We got away with murder. Trust me when I say this was for the best. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I know so, dudes. I now got Miss Applegate's soul to add to my sacrificial circle. You still have the phone? I handed it off to you while I was walking up to get searched. Pretty sneaky, huh? Sure thing, bro. Sure thing. You know what? 
Why don't you keep it? A little token of my appreciation. Maybe you can use it for something on another day. All right, we unlocked the teacher's phone. Well, everyone, not only do we now have the souls of six kindergartners, but we now have the souls of my kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching. We will continue this awful, horrendous, crazy, funny story in the next episode of Kindergarten. But until then, you can call me Phoebes or Phoebe. If you haven't caught up on the other Kindergarten episodes, make sure to do it. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means more than you know. And we just hit 14,000 subscribers on the channel and I wouldn't be here without you all. So thank you so, so much for being here. I will see you in the next video. Bye.